Good day to all of you. Welcome to EC Physics. Learn physics as easy as 1, 2, 3. Through this video, we are going to discuss about one important type of force, which is frictional force. As you know that there are many different types of forces which you come across. Friction is one of the type of force which you will be coming across. Through this video, we'll just cover up the introduction part of friction in which we'll discuss about what is friction, what is the cause of friction, and what are the factors affecting friction. Do you ever wonder why after kicking a football? See, we have studied that in order to stop a moving object, a force is required, right? When you kick a football and when the football is rolling on the ground, there should be some player from the opposite team who will be applying a force on the football to stop it, right? But even if no one is stopping the motion of the football, after some time, the football will come to a stop by its own, even if there is no, nobody to stop the motion of the football, right? What might be the reason? Is there any invisible man who is stopping the football or is there any, any other object which is applying a force on the football? Yes, there is. It is nothing but the opposite force applied by the ground, which is stopping the motion of the football. It is not only applicable for the motion of a football, it is applicable for the motion of any other object on any other surface. That is, when there is a relative motion between two objects, there will be an opposite force which comes into play, which will always try to oppose the motion of an object. That special kind of force which opposes the motion of an object is known as frictional force. So what is friction? It is nothing but the force which resists the relative motion of the two surfaces. Hope it is clear. Now, what might be the reason for this resistive force? How can one surface oppose the motion of an object? For that, let us have a microscopic view of two surfaces. Suppose one load is sliding over another surface. See, the surface seems to be very plain for us with naked eyes. But when you look at the surface very closely, there will be some grooves present. There will be some irregularities on the surface. It might not be visible to us with naked eyes. But these irregularities will make the movement of the box a little tougher on the surface. So for any kind of frictional force, the basic reason is the interlocking of the irregularities between the two surfaces. So cause of friction is what? It is nothing but the interlocking of irregularities on the two surfaces in contact. Now, look at the two pictures. In one, the boy is trying to slide on a grassy field and then the second one, the boy is trying to slide on an icy field. Which one will be easier? The boy has to apply a very huge amount of force if he wants to slide on a grassy field as compared to the icy field. What might be the reason? We'll discuss. And have you ever wondered why we fell down if you ever step into a banana peel? Mostly it happens, right? Or why is it difficult to push a heavy load as compared to a lighter load? All these are the job of friction that there are many factors on which this friction depends. Friction means it is opposite force, right? On the first place, it depends on the nature of the surfaces in contact. Second one, it depends on the state of smoothness or roughness of the surface. Smoother surface will apply less friction as compared to rough surfaces. How hard the two surfaces press together? If the surfaces are pressed harder against the second surface, then friction also will be more. And friction does not depend on the area of contact. So I hope today's topics are very clear to all of you. Let's have a quick recap on what we've discussed. 
definition of friction is nothing but the resistive force against motion. Reason is irregularities between the surfaces. It depends on the nature of the surfaces. It depends on the state of smoothness or roughness of the surfaces. And it depends on the how hard the two surfaces pressed together. Hope it is very clear to all of you. If you have any doubts related to this topic of friction, please do post in the comment section so that I can address these doubts in one of the forthcoming videos. Thank you once again for watching. Keep watching the channel EC Physics so that you can study physics as easy as one, two, three. Thank you once again. Have a nice day to all of you.